hello you guys welcome back to another vlog happy vlogmas day one it's officially vlogmas and i just wanted to start off the video by explaining what is going to be happening this vlogmas because i have realized after doing vlogmas for five years that i feel like i get comments saying that my videos are a little bit repetitive because not every day am i going to be doing something that's really exciting and while yes i want to do vlogmas i want to make the quality of the content good for you guys and not just be like uploading a shitty vlog just because it's vlogmas and i like have to upload so i am going to be doing vlogmas still like i'm going to be filming every single day of december but you guys are going to see the vlogs in i guess in like pairs so i might do say like day one and then two three and four might be together and then five and six like stuff like that so you guys are going to see the days every single day but it's all going to be mixed together so the quality of the content can be better and i just want to make it all also more enjoyable for you guys and easier to keep up with the videos because i feel like a video every single day can be a little bit overwhelming especially if it's just like a jam-packed video with all this stuff <laughs> from that day and it's just like not as good quality as it could be so that's that but welcome back it's officially vlogmas 2022 <laughs> And we're so excited and I was like, you know what, we need to start the vlog on Vlogmas Eve because we're actually doing something fun tonight. Well, we're popping a bottle of champagne we're because it's a bottle. Vlogmas. But and we, this lighting's good. We just made pickle, pickle martinis. martinis. And we realized that we really like pickle martinis. I like them better than the ones with olive juice. Yeah. Personally. And then we're making... Fried chicken sandwiches. We're gonna have like a Chick-fil-A at home night. That's why we wanted to do the pickle martini because it goes with like the pickle that's gonna be on the fried chicken sandwich. But we're making fried chicken. I recorded podcast episode earlier at four o'clock with Jessica. Episode number four for the podcast, which launched today, which we are also gonna celebrate. And I can't believe the day is finally here. I've been talking about starting a podcast and like wanting to do one for a really long time and the fact that emma and i released our first episode today was really exciting and special and yeah maybe in the future i'll do i'll come up with like my own podcast because sometimes i feel rude when it's like me and emma sitting there talking and i feel like i just am like talking over her and i have so much to say mm -hmm. so maybe i like obviously we have the podcast together but i feel like i kind of want to maybe in the future do like my own episodes not the same podcast but like start my own and talk about just like life and yeah, like also, advice i feel like it takes a while like when you're in to when you're talking to somebody to like find rhythm yeah maybe you like you'll find rhythm well graden's gonna be on the podcast and we thought that it'd be funny to do like an advice question and answer episode where we like make drinks and then we give advice because i feel like we all have such different advice to give like we were talking about it and if but i think it should be i want to like i don't want to see the advice written i want to like hear it so yeah I, and have like, like a call in like a fake call in well i guess it's a real call in but just not probably in live time like somewhere where you can like record your questions i'm trying to think of what like what they do on the radio. Yeah, but I wonder if they use like a program, whatever. I don't know. I'm not an engineer, but like something like that. I feel like that'd be funny. But anyway, I'm washing some potatoes. <laughs> and I'm popping this bottle of champagne that my mom got me for my birthday. Oh, that's sweet. So mom, if you're watching this. Yeah, isn't that cute? Thanks for the poo, babe. And that's what's up. <sighs> you don't need to chill a champagne glass, do you? No. You know what you should have though, because you drink like a good amount of champagne. What? Uh, a champagne chiller on a stand next oh, to your bar. Oh, that's cute. Or just a stand and have a ice bucket. Okay, I'll order one. I think I need to wash these. These are dirty. Did you post yet? I just posted a TikTok of me and Margaret making pickle martinis. This is my TikTok. Blow me up. <laughs> 
Oh, the shade. I didn't even notice. The <laughs> it's like getting condensation on. Yeah. Because it. it's so. Do you want to put the towel around it? No. It's fancy. Great, and I can't open this. It's okay. gonna. Use my cuts. <gasps> okay, got it. Mm. This is. Cheers to Vlogmas, to Vlogmas and <laughs> podcasts. <laughs> I told you. Hey. Not on the potato. Actually, you can put it on the potatoes. It'll make it taste good. Okay. Two vlogmas in the podcast. Wait. Tilt it. <gasps> Yummy. Always tilt the glass. Did you know that you're supposed to hold a champagne bottle like this? From the hole. From the bottom. From the, from the bum bum hole. Right there. Who did I learn that from? I forget. I don't know. I think I learned it from the bottle girl. <laughs> I'm not kidding. <laughs> you gotta hold it like this. Yeah, but no, yeah, like that. She taught me. And then you don't put a hand there. You just go like yeah, this. Yeah, you go like this. Yeah. The girl at Mariel taught me. Yeah, whoever that is. Love you. Love you so much. Bye. I'm on live right now. <laughs> on Instagram, and we're opening up the Puka Advent Calendar. And I'm really excited because if you remember my, what year was it that I did this, 2020? I went to Whole Foods and I got the Puka Advent Calendar and they sent it this year. So where should I hang it? On the fridge? That's what I did the other, the other year. Um, like I just don't know where to put it. Yeah, I'm like tipsy. Um, put it on your front door. <laughs> put it, put it on the wall or something. No. I don't know where I'm gonna put it, but it's cute. It'll start tomorrow and then my aunt sent me this one right here. Fuck, where is it? She sent me this one for the dogs. Oh, that's cute. Trader Joe's? Yeah, Trader Joe's. Oh. Oh, Trader Joe's. <laughs> Which is so cute. Yeah, that's really sweet. I know. I haven't gotten jack shit from anybody yet. It's really shallow. It is? In the shallow. Like, that's how much fucking oil was in the thing? Like, you need more. Graydon, I should have got fucking three things of it. Well, I thought you were going to get the Crisco brand. Crisco? I was at Whole Foods. And obviously the oil at Whole Foods is only going to be this big. I should have got like six of them. You want me to go across the street to the store? No, no, no. We can make it work. <sighs> Let okay. us... Do you have a different type of oil? Do you have a canola or vegetable in there? I have an avocado. That's good for frying because it has high heat. <laughs> uh, <laughs> do you have a small... Or we could do a smaller pan. I don't have a smaller pan, babe. No, you don't. Oh. <sighs> Let me go puff more oil. No. Yeah. There. Oh, the half cup is in the dog's food. So I'll just <laughs> the fourth cup is the one you use in the sink. No, I can't go. Okay, cool. We're um, making homemade ranch. We're making homemade ranch. I've never made oh <laughs> homemade ranch. Well, I have, but it's my recipe and I feel like she she just uses like buttermilk and mayo and mixes the Hidden Valley powder with it. Yeah. Which is great, but like I feel like we could make it a little better. Yeah. And thank God my mom doesn't have doesn't know how to use technology because she would be offended. Because she, <laughs> she would see this video. She thinks nobody knows how to do that. I'm like, babe. We got Wait, the camera's dying. We gotta re we gotta recharge. Here's my battery. What was that? Half cup of sour cream? Half, a, half cup a cup of, mayo, of mayo. Half a cup of sour cream. This is just a standard um, ranch recipe that I'm following. And then we have garlic powder, parsley, and then it's dill, chive, yeah. onion powder. Mm-hmm. And then we're gonna adjust to taste. So this is like, you can't really fuck this up. We're frying. We're frying our chicken. I feel like that took a long time to get it to fry. Well, Cause we were, cause your stove is weak, but um. My stove? To get the oil. Why is it like that? 
Or like, are you talking about to get the, to get everything ready? We'll no, I'm talking about my stove being weak. Yeah, it is weak, but. Yeah, but why? Because I, I know it's weak. I don't know, but it's okay. It bothers me. Um, so we're gonna do that, and then we'll be ready. It looks good, though. Yeah, I've not. I'm just. I've never done this before, but we're gonna see what happens. This looks so good. Yum. Where'd you put the ketchup? We're sharing. Oh, cool. Okay, we just. The ranch is good. Did you show the chicken already? The, yeah. Do you like the ranch? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's very. I love it. Ran homemade ranch, any homemade whatever you make is gonna get better the next day. We need to let it sit. Yeah, I would make this the day before because you can't really see. Everything you put in it is dried, like dried herbs. So you need to give it a day to hydrate. It's still good, but I just know it would be better tomorrow. Like, how do I focus? Yeah. Let yeah. Me, let me show you what's going on. What our last piece. It's cooking. Why isn't this focusing? We'll give it one more close. Guys, I can't even believe what, like, I can't even believe what I'm about to tell you. Okay, the plumber just got to my house also because you're probably going to hear Milo barking, but, um, the tub has been like leaking and i was like sitting downstairs in the office on a call with my manager and i was like looking up at the ceiling and i'm like wait it's literally leaking through and is now leaking through the ceiling so okay guys wait i needed i'm on face with graden right now <laughs> and i were talking about last night because i was I literally whipped out my camera to tell them that I was hungover. Like, I, well, not anymore, but I woke up this morning and I was literally hungover. Because I don't drink. Like, yeah, you're, you're I haven't drank in a really long time. Well, I mean, like, I've had, like, one glass of wine, you know? Like, but one or two. Forgot, you forgot how many days? I don't even know. Remember, like, 20, like, a month, right? In, no, in October. Yeah, I didn't drink for, like, a month in October. I don't, I don't know. Anyway, um, but Graydon got invited on his first Revolve trip, like not as a plus one. <laughs> I'm so excited, Graydon. I know. It's going to be so fun. Do they know? Do we, do you tell people or do you just show up? Like, do you tell them where it is? Oh, I haven't told them where we're going yet. Should we wait? Yeah. It's going to be really fun. Well, it's during Vlogmas, obviously, so they're going to see. It'll be really fun because you're going to try something that you've never done before. Yeah, and it's going to be, like, really Christmassy and cute. Oh, my God, I have to record my podcast in five minutes. So I got to go. <laughs> Text me, love you, bye. I have to go record another podcast episode. We're having Paige on the podcast today, so I'm really excited. But I got, I got dressed, and I'm wearing... Just a little sweat set. Hey, Milo. What are you doing? <laughs> Guys, he's obsessed with this ball lately. Like, <laughs> are you obsessed with the ball? And he loves sitting underneath this little bench. And I also get so many questions about this bench. I got it from Wayfair. And it's actually sold out right now. But I will try to find a similar one and link it for you guys. Hi, guys. I just put my... <laughs> My pajamas back on and the podcast went really well it's also starting to get dark out and it's only four o'clock right now but but yeah i just was watching some youtube and laying in bed the podcast went really really well and i can't wait for you guys to hear this episode with Paige. i just feel like i really have been liking having guests on the podcast and i just feel like the conversation has been flowing really nicely and yeah i'm excited for you guys to hear it this is literally just like the reality of my life today also i washed my hair this morning in the shower and i don't know why it like looks so wavy right now it's so weird but also i wanted to show you guys i started using 
a new face wash like two days ago because my skin honestly was freaking out like getting really aggravated and i was like you know what i just don't know what to do i was on this like acne regimen and i just like stopped using every single product i was using and i literally only have been doing moisturizer and this cleanser right here which I really like because I was using this other one and I would wash my face and it would make my skin feel like it was being stripped of all the moisture and it was really bad but obsessed with this brand and the products and I did also want to share these acne patches that I've been using because I had a bunch of breakouts a couple days ago and I wore these, I did them overnight one day and then one of the other days I actually put them on with makeup which sounds so freaky that it like honestly really scared me when I found out that you could wear them under your makeup and then I did it and it honestly really helped my skin so I was really happy about that. Oh, the brand is Peace Out. I think that you can get them at Sephora but I just really like those. So if you have acne and you're struggling with your skin, those work really, really well. I like them a lot. I feel like I've tried so many little like acne dots and those ones are, feel really nice. And also I was watching this girl. I have my makeup remover right here. I like you guys, it's so bad. I literally like, I'm so surprised. I got my makeup off last night i like still feel really sick i haven't like been able to eat that much today just because i like feel sick even though i like should be eating and i honestly want to get chick-fil-a for dinner but you guys like i can't even say what i drank last night because honestly the champagne was fine and i had red wine which like i always just like stick to what i know and like you know and I think what set me over the edge last night was I had a pistachio. I can't even say it. I'm going to literally throw up. I had a pistachio martini. My friend ordered it for me and I was like, I swear that I had one, like a sip of one one time. And I thought that it was good or like I had a shot, a pistachio shot or something when I went out. And I liked the taste of it. No. Nope. That's not my thing. I don't like them. And I don't know why I even drank it. I was just like honestly feeling really hyper and like excited for vlogmas and I was so excited about the podcast launch that I just like, I don't know, I feel like I just had a crazy night for no reason. Like I just drank way more than I should have and I'm really mad at myself about it. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. I'm like really mad at myself about it and I've been thinking about it all day being like, are you kidding me? Like, why did I do that? And it just makes me really upset because it really ruined my whole entire day. I hate feeling hungover. I also like don't even like drinking and I am okay with like having a couple drinks maybe having like one or two but not as many as i did last night you guys and i just feel like it ruined my day <laughs> and i'm really sad and i was so excited for like the first day of vlogmas that i think i got a little bit too excited and then what else was i gonna say to you guys oh also i feel like i've just been seeing so many like little aesthetic videos on tiktok of like christmas decorations and stuff and I really need to figure my tree out because actually a couple of you guys were commenting saying that I have the top of it. It needs to be like set up a different way because that's what's making the top half of the tree not turn on. So I'm going to try that. But just like making me sad because it honestly doesn't even feel like Christmas and the weather's just like been so weird lately. I don't know what it is, but... I just think that maybe because I've been seeing Christmas content on TikTok for like literally a month, like even before Thanksgiving, that I just feel like it doesn't feel like Christmas anymore, even though I feel like usually on December 1st, like it does. It just has like a different vibe. 
I don't know though. So I'm really glad that I'm doing Vlogmas and doing like pairing my videos together because I just feel like despite obviously today, I feel like the quality of my content is just gonna be a lot better. Also, you guys, <laughs> also there's little like puddles all over the ground because my boyfriend took a shower and he like doesn't dry himself off all the way and then he walks around and like if i'm wearing socks my feet get wet he reminds me of a little duck i always tell him i'm like you track water everywhere like it's all it's so funny there's like even like little suds i don't think he got all the suds off of him when he got out of the shower and he's just really funny um but yeah i want to watch gossip girl what time is it? Is it time to order food? <laughs> I literally want Chick-fil-A so bad. Guys, it's 4.30. Like, what? Why is it 4.30 and it's literally getting dark out? I just opened up so many packages that were literally piling up all day so I just thought that I would show you guys what came in and we also have to make the tea of the day because I got this advent calendar from Puka Tea. They sent it to me and I had this a couple years ago during Vlogmas and it was so much fun and you just have a tea for every single day of the month up until Christmas and this is day number one so I'm going to make this right now. I'm actually kind of excited that it's ginger because I haven't had ginger tea in a really long time and this is the little message of the day I'm gonna start with some water I got a few new Christmas ornaments in the mail these I just ordered off of Amazon but they're so cute and festive and I'm excited because I'm going to try to fix the tree tomorrow and then also put the rest of these on the tree. I still have a ton of other ones that are coming in which will be here within like the next few days but how cute. Little Santa, a elf, this one is lobster, another Santa, gingerbread house and then this really cute one of Boston which I love. It has like all of the cute little things around the city and then I also got a PR box from Lux Unfiltered which I'm so excited about because I use their self tanner right now and I use the gradual tanning lotion and they just came out with a mousse and I'm so excited to try it so they sent this over thank you guys so much for sending if you are looking for good self tanning products I highly recommend checking them out I'll link it down below they have the gradual self tanner, now they have the mousse, they have a body lotion, an exfoliator, and also facial tanning drops, and I really like those as well. And then I just got some clothing pieces in the mail from Etern. I got a sweater, some more pants, these are literally like the only pants that I wear to bed. I love lounging in the house, like lounging around the house wearing them, so I got a pair of thermal ones, and then I got a long sleeve gray boyfriend tee and then I also got this long sleeve turtleneck white dress a black long sleeve and then I got this skirt from Frankie shop I just thought that it was really cute and I got this jacket right here which is just a long pea coat and then I also got a blazer this is my favorite blazer by them I'm pretty sure it's called the bee blazer and I don't have this color and this one just came in, so I decided to get this. I picked all these items up on Black Friday. They were having a little sale. And I'm really excited because I've been looking for a jacket that is this color because I have a black one from Aritzia that's really similar. But I feel like the tan jackets from Aritzia are too, almost like a little bit too dark. They're more like camel. And there's not one that's like really light like this. I, I love it. Okay, you guys I am gonna start editing this video because obviously it's gonna go up tomorrow but 
today was a long day and i promise you guys that the rest of my vlogs during vlogmas are not going to be like this <sighs> because today literally was like one of the worst days of my life and i'm so <laughs> mad at myself obviously for just getting too carried away last night i literally was just like so excited for vlogmas and the podcast and everything and that just like cannot be happening this is literally like why i don't like drinking because i feel like it ruins my whole entire next day and i like can't be productive and it just really bothers me so anyway i'm gonna end off this vlog but i hope that you guys enjoyed it i'm gonna go downstairs it's football night the patriots are on and my boyfriend's watching the game so i'm gonna go lay on the couch and edit this vlog and i hope that you guys enjoyed it though and stay tuned for more vlogmas vlogs and i'm excited for tomorrow i have a busy day so i'm definitely going to be like vlogging obviously a lot and everything that i do so make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on any of my videos and i love you guys so so much and i will see you in tomorrow's vlog